on Meadowview Street by Henry Cole. It was a big day. Caroline and her family were moving into their new house on Meadowview Street. After things were unpacked, Caroline's dad decided the grass was too tall and got busy mowing the lawn. Caroline was about to explore the new street to see if there was a meadow on Meadowview Street when she noticed a small blossom. It's beautiful, Caroline said to herself, and all alone. The mower was getting closer. Caroline thought, I'd better do something quick. The mower came to a halt. Daddy, Caroline pleaded, couldn't you mow around my flower? Humph, he said, thinking, well, that's less mowing for me. Caroline raced inside the house. She poked around the boxes in the basement. Aha, she smiled. Some string and some sticks, just what I needed. Before long, Caroline had made a small wildflower preserve. Then she noticed another flower had bloomed nearby. Her preserve got bigger. And bigger. And bigger. That butterfly seems to like my little garden, Caroline thought happily. As the grass grew taller, more flowers popped up all over the yard. Soon there were different kinds and different colors everywhere. Caroline's dad had a great idea for the mower. For sale. One day, Caroline sat in her preserve in the heat of the sun. My garden needs a shady spot, she said to her parents. A shady spot sounds nice, replied Caroline's mom. Soon a truck made a delivery. Caroline's mom took pictures. Welcome to your new home, said Caroline to the maple tree. The next day, as Caroline admired the maple tree, a wren landed on the end of her shovel. Oh, you're looking for a home too, said Caroline. Caroline and her dad got to work. They found some plans for building birdhouses. Caroline helped cut the wood and nail the pieces together. Perfect, thought Caroline. So did the wren. In no time, there were birds and insects everywhere, around the tree and zipping among the flowers. Soon the wren house was full of twigs for a nest. Caroline wanted one more thing. We need a place where everyone can get a drink of water, she said. The next day, she and her dad began building a pond. They dug a large, shallow hole and lined it with a heavy plastic sheet. Caroline added plants that like living in water. She lugged large rocks to the edge, making ledges and little caverns for creatures to live in. The more Caroline and her family worked on their yard, the more it changed. It was now a home to many living things. And soon the Jackson's yard changed, and the Smith's, and the Soto's. Now there really was a meadow on Meadowview Street. Ladybird beetle, salamander, swallow, monarch caterpillars on milkweed leaf, bee, mud turtle, coneflower, beetle, dragonfly, brown bat, hummingbird, meadow mouse, skink, house wren, black-eyed Susan, wolf spider, green snake, mallow, small copper butterfly on bee balm and a home for everyone.